We are in Viterbo, which is the city I used to live in when I studied abroad, and it's like so awesome to be here. Like yesterday when we got here, I couldn't stop smiling because like nothing's changed. I feel like I stepped back in time. It's been like seven years since I've been here, so I'm so excited to like show you guys around. I'm gonna go show him everything, my typical path I would take to like the store and like also the school. So I'm gonna film everything and take you guys with us. Appalachian sunrise meets my skin Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in Golden, golden. I'll follow only golden Golden, golden, golden things in spring rainbow trout and hummingbird wing golden I'll follow hello everyone I thought I would sit down and just kind of like talk about what it is we really did when we were here and like why this place is so special to me um so I took a lot of clips but I didn't really talk a lot in the clips Honestly because I was just taking it all in I really felt like it was like a dream to be here again because I was here in 2015 and it really feels like I stepped back in time Because not much has really changed but at the same time like a lot has changed in my life and for myself so like to be here with a new perspective is like super different and Really cool. Honestly, it's really cool But also kind of made me a little sad because I feel like a lot of things are closed and just with the past few years with COVID and stuff, I can definitely tell that the city I knew is not 100% like that anymore. And I'm sure that they're doing fine now, but it just felt a little bit different. So it was really weird, but also really, really, really nice to be here and see my old apartment and to show my boyfriend just what I experienced and why this place is so special to me. And I was like trying to figure out when we were sitting at dinner, like why, is this place so special to me because I feel like I've really traveled a lot now I've seen a lot of things and I feel like I've been doing a lot of cool things in my life but this this exact like um, memory of mine is so special and I think it's because that was like the first time that I really became independent and like trusted myself to just be independent and it was like my I was so scared to do it I remember being super nervous to like leave and like be somewhere super far with people i don't really know but it was like it taught me so much about myself and also just so much about life and how it's okay to take things slower and the italian culture is very like family oriented and just like they even close the shops and everything from like three to seven and that time is spent with family or just relaxing and when i lived here i i remember loving that but i always forget because back home it's like go 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 never doing enough you're never enough and that kind of stuff so when I was here it was like a really good reminder and like made me step back because at the time I was like super obsessed with body image and making myself look perfect and this was like the perfect place for me to be to like snap out of that bad mindset and just remind myself that there's so much more to life than worrying about 
calories or whatever it is and I love being healthy but I don't know, you know what I mean. It's just a really special place for me. So anyway, I we did so much. We walked around the city. I showed him my favorite coffee shop that I used to go to before school. Sorry, the birds are like super loud out there, but it's kind of like peaceful sounding. But this coffee shop was like my go-to on the way to school every, like honestly almost every day I would get this cappuccino. It was so good. So went there, of course, and we walked around the university and I even got to run into one of my old instructors and we talked for a bit and she said hi and um, I don't know if she really remembered me. It's been like seven years, so not blaming her at all. I honestly didn't remember one of my teacher's names until she said it and I was like, yes, that was a name. So don't know if she remembered me, but it was super cool to see her and the classroom that I would learn in was completely the same. Um, so that was awesome and when I was doing school out here, I was learning Italian language. I had like journalism classes because that was my degree um, So I remember I wrote for an Italian newspaper, which was pretty cool and, Like one of my articles got published. I think it was really really cool, but Yeah, it was nice to see the classroom and then we walked around the city and just all the streets are just so aesthetic and beautiful so it was like just taking it all in um we got dinner at multiple places so the first place was my favorite pizza place um it's so good like it's so light and just crispy but like soft at the same time like they just make it perfect it's like the perfect wood-fired pizza the best one and he agreed best pizza like top best ones we've ever had they're so good um so i got that and then the grocery store that I used to shop at, which was like a throwback because I remember I would get stuff for salads and just would go there with my friend and we would shop for groceries and stuff. So it was kind of cool to see that nothing even changed in that store. Um, and then we just kind of walked around the city and like took it all in. And we also the next day got um, pizza at this place that is like a five star rating and it was pretty good. So we got that and this Airbnb though, like honestly is so, so cool. I'm sure you guys can see behind me and um, I'll show you guys what the Airbnb looks like because honestly we spent some time here just because it's so cool and so relaxing and peaceful. And it was nice to kind of just like take a little bit of a break from our travel and go, go, go that we've been doing. So this was what the Airbnb looked like when we arrived. <laughs> Yeah, it's been really really nice and amazing to just I don't know just be reminded of like where I was where I am now the growth I've overcome or just the growth I've experienced and just like that the city is here and it just I don't know it's so hard to explain like I feel like the memories I have here are definitely personal and like something I just it's hard to explain but it was just a really really cool experience and um, just so so grateful to be back and to see it yeah I just wanted to check in and kind of give my story and reason why this place was something I definitely wanted to stop at and I really feel like the city in general was such an inspiration for my my designs and my work and um, yeah, it's so cool. I'm so glad I got to share that with you all and also have this video to look back on for all the years.
I just woke up. It's our last morning here, but I just took a shot of espresso. I forgot to show you guys how sweet it was, this apartment, or uh, Airbnb. He left us like so many little like snacks and like this coffee machine. He left us like all the pods, which was so, so nice. And um, he left like this whole thing of tea and honey and so many cool things and a jar of Nutella. <laughs> but so nice. So, so nice. One of these things. I don't know what that is. Croissant. But anyway, this morning we're gonna go. I'm gonna walk him to the gym I used to go to. I want him to see that. And I kind of want to see it again too, just because I have a visual in my head of what it was. But I just want to see it again. And then we're gonna go get some fresh croissants because I remember this place makes like super fresh, amazing croissants. So. We're gonna stop there, come back, and then we'll be on the road to go to Rome. So, super excited, but just did the shot. I need all the energy I can get for Rome. <laughs> it is so it was kind of a struggle asking for these they're called corsetto we have like an hour until we leave till rome so we're gonna just relax soak in the air conditioning because it's so hot outside today it's gonna be like 94 in rome so we gotta get ready for that but i will talk to you guys in a bit all right you guys we are headed out to go to Rome. So I'm gonna start my new vlog for that. I'm so excited. So I am going to miss this place, but I honestly feel like I want to look into coming back one time and like just renting out this Airbnb for like a month and just, I feel like I'd be so creative in this space. So that's definitely a dream to do one day, but I'm sure it'll happen. So I'm sipping on, um, I was gonna show you guys this. I used to love this juice when I lived here. It's like carrot, lemon, orange. It's very good. Um, I'm a little bit sleepy today. I feel like you can kind of tell, but I feel like I slept good, so I don't know why I feel like this, but I am definitely looking forward to seeing Rome and taking you guys with me there. So um, yeah, this morning we also went and got some fresh croissants, which was so, so good. Um, but I'll definitely be back here. I know I will. So Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it And I'm really glad I got to share a piece of my life with you and I'll see you guys in my next video <laughs> Thank you.